Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your notification bell on, man. Got some more heated content for y'all, man. Wack 100 goes all the way off on Mace, aka Mace and Betha, about this and Diddy and speaking down on Diddy while he's going through these allegations, man. So I'm gonna play the content, man. I ain't gonna speak too much, man. Let's get it. I, I don't, uh, Hey, it's what was that nigga name that was signing Diddy? He was like, like, whoa, like, whoa. Like, talking about Black Rob? Yeah, yeah, I was trying to find that nigga the other day on Instagram. He died. That nigga, uh, yeah, he dead. gone. He been gone, Meet me for me. Oh, word. <laughs> you <laughs> like, ladies, hell. That ain't been dead. Bro, I don't know that man. Bro, hey, bro, that's don't another do that. thing. That man been gone. They said Black Rob died broke. You know what I'm saying? Like his family. Yeah, they're like supposed to know the nigga together. names. I just know Instead he had it, like whoa. They said his family had to do a GoFundMe. Yeah, that's all he had. Bro. He was a one hit wonder. Eat that nigga, bro. Oh, so wait, did he did him wrong too? It's KS? not even did him wrong, but it's because it's business. You can't say he did him wrong because you signed a contract. But morally, I'm just gonna say what you give out, you get back tenfold. If you do niggas like that, bro, morally it's gonna come back to you. So do niggas like what though, bro? Let's listen, bro. Mace, and I told Mace this. I told Mace, you wouldn't be who you are today if Diddy wouldn't have signed. That's a fact. Nigga, that nigga, nigga, let's keep it 100. His relationships had niggas on your album in production that you would have never got a chance to see in your life. That's a fact. So now, a nigga do that, get you big. He takes zero to a million, and you say, hey, man, I'm looking at my contract right now, homie, and I feel like, you feel like what, nigga? My resources is what got you there, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck is y'all talking about? So, I don't be getting what niggas is saying, bro. But what about you niggas, you what, look, what you, about his you talent? Up, what about I his talent? He did for you, and all of a sudden you start saying, "Well, I'm this now." You're that because of what he did. Let's keep it one hundred. We got Ryan White beat in there. I got it. Blueface <laughs> fought me, bro. He in there making music. I said, yo, where your old music at? Why you want that? Give me the old music. While he making music, I'm in another studio. I come out. I said, I got the single. What's that? Tatiana. Man, why? That shit been out eight months. I don't give a fuck. I ain't put it out yet. Watch this. Now, we can all say today, about December 2018, Tatiana was a different song. Nigga, I looked up, put YG on it. Cold Ben and Lyrical Lemonade video. Looked up, put Car Cardi B on it. Cold Ben and Lyrical Lemonade video. Looked up, put all three of them on it, and I never changed this verse. Why did that? So don't come telling me did he put this nigga with J Lo and this shit and that shit and this shit and motherfuckers he would have never seen before in his life, and then now you become something. And now you want to say, hey, homie, it should be this. Nigga, fuck you. You a fucking investment, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> what the fuck is niggas talking about, bro? It's like my mother, a nigga selling dope and he moving weight. And a nigga on the corner who had $4 in his pocket, you didn't put him in position. He looked up. He up two birds on the counter to you. And now he want to tell you. What it should be. Hey, look, little bitch. I take that life threatening chance going down there meeting with them maskers, nigga. That penitentiary chance moving at work. Rocking this shit. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? You was homeless. Homie, I'm just saying, homie. It's time for me to move on because you ain't saying shit, right? Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. Mace, I tell you, Mace, that nigga gave you about five, ten million. On that pub deal, you wasn't saying he was fucked up then. When you got the pub deal and got all the millions before you spent it, you wasn't running around saying, this bitch ass nigga just gave me 10 million. 10 million gets spent and gone, you go turn pastor and you looking to blame somebody. Cause the fans ain't fucking with you. After he got caught with the tranny down at Atlanta. Come on, let's talk about it. Who got caught with a tranny? Wait, who got caught with a tranny, Wait, Wait, no, caught with a tranny go? Yeah, what? yeah, look that shit up. 
I'm gonna have to go look this. Nah, I gotta yeah, see. Talking about. And he said, let's talk Hold about on. it. Who we gonna blame next? PD Jakes? Because the church shit didn't work? Have you ever been swallowed up? Let's, 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 let's just be real. What the fuck Mace, up, Mimi? I fuck with Mason and all that, but let's be real. Rapper, pastor, back rapper, podcaster. He got to stop blaming motherfuckers, bro. He got to stop. Because it don't work. I ain't never heard May say, I got to take responsibility for my actions. I see it. It's a rapper Mace called picking up a tranny in a Range Rover. Oh, my nigga. What's the best thing to pick a tranny? Range Rover got good fucking in the back seat. See what I'm all, saying? Especially the extended <laughs> wheel. This is crazy. The extended wheelbase is good fucking. Oh, God. That's what Meat used to be fucking Nikki in when, when she was with Safari. The extended wheelbase Range Rover is <laughs> good fucking. The long one, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, bro. This is no cap. Great fuck, Dan Home. Meek was picking up Nikki, fucking her when she was with Safari. He was picking up fucking us in the Range Rover, bro. No. Yeah, but what I'm saying, like, bro. So when oh you took the well, how do you publish it? I gave you five, ten million. You ran around. You brought Range Rovers. You party fur jackets. Did y'all hear this nigga May saying this bitch ass nigga Puff gave me five or ten million? Fuck that bitch, nigga. Did y'all ever hear that? Nah, I ain't never know. heard that. I didn't, this is my first time hearing that he got $10 million. Man, man, you gave that nigga a bag. Now, here go the thing. You can't take no niggas publishing. You can negotiate a deal. You understand what I'm telling you? Wait, so Yeah, that means he gave it away. Wait, you can't take, no, he didn't gave it. He stole it. Wait, wait, right, so, that's what I mean. Man, that's I, what look, I mean, I've been that. having an old white man come by one of my houses. Once a week, this old white man for the last four months. Sir, I want to buy your house. He started off at two million. Two five. He just came by the other day. I give you three million. I can wire it today. If I sell the white man my house, I can't turn around five years from now because I'm homeless. Right. Right. Yeah. I feel what you're saying. Is my girl? He probably got a phone call. But the yeah, thing that he probably is got a call. Hey, the yeah. fact that Mason's a zesty pastor is throwing me off. Like, what the fuck? That's why I don't be going to church like that. Mimi, he might Man. have went to church so he won't be zesty. <laughs> like, what we doing? Hey, KS. Hey, KS. <laughs> hey, he might have got saved. He might got delivered. Hey, KS, I seen the post that said, uh, I tried to get the gay out of me, so I went to church and got baptized. I'm still gay. I think my uh, water had a little sugar in it, bro. I was dying. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Hell nah. That's why I don't be believing in that shit, bro. That shit fake. All that shit fake. I that tried that Jesus crazy. shit, bro. That shit, bro. Man, man that you shit. Don't say that Jesus shit, bro. Look. But I'm not even trying to say it like that. You know what I mean, bro. Hey, <laughs> but she for real. I feel you, Mimi. It's hard. That it's really hard to believe. Crazy. It's really hard to believe in all this shit when it's just the motherfucker that's supposed to be teaching you this shit be just weird. Like, bro, like. Corrupt that shelf. Yeah, but that's why yeah. I say study to show that self approve. Like, listen, you got to study to show yourself approve. You're not supposed to be trying no, no, to no, 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 no. or. Listen, listen, shit. listen. I literally tried to give. That shit a second chance, but it's like that shit, bro. Like I didn't nah. That nigga said that shit a second chance. That shit. No, nah, I'm not saying it like that, bro. I'm saying I tried to give like the whole church stuff a second chance and stuff like that. Yeah, but just, yeah, no. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit yeah, bogus, that bro. Them people, them that people be the service, they gonna shit. say, here, let's pass this uh yeah, this like shit around and give some off. But it's about there, it's too. about where y'all go to. Like, <laughs> if you go somewhere where you know it's people that truly want to teach you the scriptures, yeah. truly want you to learn and get some edifying, then you good. You know, I what ain't saying? found the church they, home like that though. Yeah, Every church I go to, out. money hungry as hell. Like they give you that you got seven offerings. Like, damn, I just gave you fifty dollars. Like, what the fuck you had me to play the game for? Like. Every church I didn't try, like, I feel like that church shit, like, it is not for everybody, bro. That's pretty much the end of the video, man. How y'all feel, man? Wack 100, he didn't hold back on Mace, man. He felt that Mace is just uh, bitter because of how his situation ended with Diddy. Um, he did sign a contract. Um, he did uh, get rewarded some opportunities that he probably would have never experienced without P. Diddy's help. 
So I definitely agree with Wack 100 on that point of view. Mason Cameron, they had a lot to say about Diddy. Um, they initially reacted to the allegations on their podcast. Um, but yeah, man, um, I think uh, Diddy is definitely going through a difficult time right now. And everybody is definitely uh, wanting to see him, uh, I guess, pay for his crimes, the alleged crimes, because a lot of people are alleging that he's done a lot of things over the years. But I don't really know too much about that. I can only speak to what's available to us in the media. So I'm going to let y'all form your own opinion in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Um, do y'all think P. Diddy got a reputation for screwing over his bad boy artists? And this is just karma coming back for him. Uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all agree with WAC 100? Are y'all against him? Let me know, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all give this video a like. Until I see y'all next time, man. Peace. Peace.